What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you how to convert a uh, UTM coordinates uh, into decimal degrees. So I have a topo data here that uh, I collected from some place and uh, I want to convert these to uh, decimal degrees with the help of uh, ArcGIS software. So uh, First thing first, we need to convert this uh, Excel sheet into a CSV so that uh, it can be easy to be opened in uh, in ArcGIS. So in order to convert uh, this to a CSV, click on uh, File, go to Save As, and then navigate to the location that you want to store this particular uh, data, and then. I'm going to leave the name as it is, but I'm going to change the file type as uh, CSV comma delimited. And then I'm going to click save. Uh, now our data is in CSV. Uh, in order to open it in uh, uh, ArcGIS, I need to close it down. You cannot op you cannot add this data to ArcGIS while this data is still open. So I need to close it down. And then I'm going to open up uh, my ArcGIS software. And then I'm going to click on Add Data uh, button. And then navigate to the location where I have this data. Mine is in, located in desktop. And then here we have uh, the, our CSV topo. And then I'm going to click Open. So on the table of content, the, the CSV data has been added now, but there is no, uh, it's not displayed. So you need to display the XY coordinates. And in order to do that, we need to, on the uh, a tab of content, uh, right click on the CSV data and then choose display XY data. Now here you need to define your data. Uh, let me just, one moment, I open this. Uh, Excel. Here you need to tell the software that uh, uh, this column belongs to this. Uh, this belong, uh, belongs to this. So if if you look, we have uh, we have four columns. We have station. We have nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing is same as uh, latitude, easting, longitude, and then you have elevation. So you need to tell that uh, to ArcGIS so that you can understand what your data. Is all about so our heading as i said the x field should be uh, easting and the y is latitude or nothing the z value is the elevation and then another thing you need is to uh, define the corner system so as you can see i received this uh, so you need to define uh, the corner system uh, depending on where you collected this data so the coordinate, the, you can see the coordinates are in UTM, but also you need to know uh, the UTM zones. For you to, if you want to know the UTM zones, so long as you know the place, you can as well uh, use uh, Google Earth to help you find the, uh, let's say that you've received this data from uh, a person and that is, is told you that I collect this data from a particular place. So it's now up to you to, go ahead and know how to find the UTM zone. So for example, uh, I collected this data from a place called Gatanga. Uh, so Gatanga, Gatanga in, let's say, let's try that. And click search for, so that, uh, So the moment you click search and then the cast the you now zo you are now zoomed in uh, at this particular point. This is where this is the location of this uh, where I collected this data around this place. And if I look at the bottom of this uh, uh, Google Earth Pro, uh, I can tell. So the software gives uh, the UTM zone of this particular place. So I know it is in zone 37M. 
that's enough for me to define the coordinate system uh, now I can go to uh, edit under uh, coordinate system and uh, the UTM zone or UTM coordinate system uh, of Kenya is uh, at 1960 UTM zone 37 south so I now need to click OK and then everything I think is OK click OK again and then give give the ArcGIS software some time uh, I don't know why it keeps on bringing that error so click it again and then click OK to add the data now you can see the uh, you can see now the nothing and easting or the xy data have been plotted uh, now uh, this, uh, this is still a csv data i need to convert this to uh, to shape file so i'm going to right click on the data uh, that we've just created and then go to date, uh, data and export click on export uh, choose the output uh, location uh, navigate to where you want your data to be stored and then uh, I'm going to create another can right click inside here or just click on new folder and let me add a folder for shape files shape files like so and then I'm going to double click that shape file that I've just created and then I'm going to give it a name like uh, UTM points UTM points like that and then uh, uh, the file the file type should be shape file and then click save click OK and then uh, click yes now uh, so now that we have uh, the shape file we don't need this CSV data anymore I can just right click and then delete so if you want to uh, label the, your points you can go ahead and right click and then click labels you can see that uh, it's quite a uh, large amount of points now that uh, if i right click and go to uh, attribute table you can see now we have the points in uh, elevation we have the station we have all this now uh, for you to convert uh, these points uh, we need to convert these points to uh, decimal degrees you need to you need to convert uh, or you need to to transform the UTM coordinates to uh, WGS 1984 so in order to do that let's go ahead and uh, create let's just create another folder inside here where I'm just still working on and then I'm going to say uh, WGS 84 like, like that 1984 like so and then enter and I'm going to uh, add another folder and call it uh, WGS 84 shape file like that so uh, open up the actual box click on actual box is at the top here and i think it's uh, it's a uh, it's symbolized by a red uh, toolbox so you need to find it and then uh, click on it to open uh, the actual box so that you can uh, proceed with converting the coordinates or the point from UTM to a WGS 1984. Now that our app toolbox has opened up, uh, you need to navigate. Go. Uh, you need to find the data management tool, and you should you should be familiar yourself with these uh, data management tools because it's it's quite vital. Uh, 
when it comes to uh, GIS, it has uh, quite important tools. And then find the projections and transformation. Uh, click on this to expand. And then we need to project. So double click on project. And then uh, we need to, so the input data is the data that uh, we want to convert. So the UTM points, uh, click on that and then click UTM points or whatever the name that we've given to your, uh, your UTM points. So it's going to load that data as the input data set or the feature class. And then automatically you can see that the input coordinate system is now uh, ARC 1960 UTM, UTM zone 37 south, but cannot be edited because uh, it's already is the uh, UTM or it's the coordinate system for that uh, particular data set that we've just you created. So you, there's no way you can actually edit in it in here. So the output uh, folder is the place where you want to, to, to now store the uh, so sorry let me so desktop uh, WGS 1984 so this is the place that I want to store uh, the share file in WGS 1984 uh, so let's say WGS84 uh, points like so and then click save and then now this is the most important the output code system uh, we want these points to be in WGS 1984 choose that and then uh, click OK and then uh, I click OK and give it time you can see at the bottom here the process is ongoing uh, in the meantime let me just open up another another app map so that uh, we can open it up. now you can see that the process is complete i can as well uh, save this project let me let me just save this and then let's save it here and, and call it a uh, UTM like so and then click save. Now that uh, we have our points in UTM saved, you can go ahead and uh, close this down and wait for uh, Well, we are now to create to open up uh, the points the the points in WGS 1984. Uh, I didn't want to mess up uh, by opening up the WGS 84 in into the uh, uh, UTM. So again, I'm going to add the WGS 19, uh, 1984 points that we created. They are here. So these are shape files. Now they are in uh, WGS 1984. As you can tell from this, uh, at the bottom here, bottom right corner, you can see now the coordinates are now in WGS 1984. If I open up the attribute table, it contains uh, the previous the or the nothing and easting of the original uh, coordinates, which were the uh, the U the UTMs the UTM so we're going to maintain this uh, but we're going to add uh, the values now in WGS 1984 in order to, to do that again uh, let's go back to actual box click on it so the moment it opens go let's just go back to uh, the data management tool again expand on it and then uh, go to features look for features expand on it and then we want to add the xy coordinates so now we want to add the xy coordinates but it will now generate the coordinates in terms of 
uh, decimal degrees. So double click on add XY coordinates. And then uh, select the input feature, the our points that are in WGS1984. Click OK. And then give it just time to, to generate the coordinates. As you can see at the bottom here, at the bottom right corner, you can see the process is still going on. So the moment the process is complete, you will see the, the green checkbox. And then now you can see that the process is complete. Let's go back to our data. If you, if you can now open up the attribute table again, you can see we have the points in Y and Z. So the, the Z we maintain. So we are going, we're not going to use the, we we'll maintain the coordinate, the, the Z value for the previous ones. Uh, so they're the same. So they're the same. But now what I've changed is the coordinates. You can see now the points are, we have the nothings and then in decimal degrees. Now we have, we want to, to export this table as it is into uh, Excel. So to do that, go back again to the actual box and then go to the, to the conversion tools and then expand on Excel. Then what you want is to convert the table to Excel. Double click on the table to Excel. And then what we want to convert is our uh, data here uh, and the output uh, Excel file. Let's let's have it inside. Uh, navigate to the place where you want your data. So let's say you want to have it here and then give it a name like uh, uh, points. Mm -hmm. There's more degrees like so, and then click save. Click OK, and then once the process is complete, it's going to actually let you know. So let's give it time, and uh, you can see now the, the process is complete. Uh, what we're going to do now, uh, let me first of all save this. Uh, WGS84 conversion like so. Click save. Uh, we can now close down uh, the ArcGIS and go to our folder and open up our Excel. So I'm going to create a new Excel here and say. Uh, UTM WGS eighty four version like that. So it's blank. Let me just double click on it to open up. So let's open up a a blank project. So, uh, I'm going to, to paste the contents that we created in the previous. Uh, now, let's open the data that we converted in uh, ArcGIS. Uh, so, I'm going to double click on it. Okay, so now we have the data here. I don't know why it was telling me that the data is, is lost. So what I want to do, I want to copy. Uh, I want to copy the station, the nothing in, uh, in UTM and listing, the elevation and 
up to this particular point. So let's do that again. So let's start from this particular point. I want to copy everything up to that and then uh, press down control uh, and then press down control shift and press uh, down arrow to select uh, those ones and then right click to copy right click and then copy and uh, we're going to copy that data in here we're going to copy the values now you can see we have our data here let's do some uh, cleaning and uh, I'm going to separate to add uh, a column at that particular point. I'm going to have this bold and everything, select everything and increase the font to 12. So I'm going to So everything let's let, let's do some clean going to now uh, you can see now we have the data we have the nothing easting and elevation and uh, let's make this uh, two decimal places right click and then go to format cell and then numbers choose to like so and here we're going to leave let's say uh, format this numbers let's make it uh, something like seven seven years like so now uh, we can also let's let's add another field here So this is uh, press down control shift and that uh, right click and cut and paste it here so that uh, we can have the corresponding uh, we have the first column on this on this uh, side so nothing should correspond to nothing and then uh, the station uh, so give it station like so and then uh, you're going to copy copy the station like so right click and paste and then you, know, you can now say the y uh, why is always nothing uh, x is easting easting like so and then this is elevation so now we can see clearly that we, we have now successfully changed uh, converted the points we can as well in, uh, add another row and say let's merge that and say uh, let's merge that and say uh, u terms coordinates in utm and this ones uh, merge and say coordinates in uh decimal degrees coordinates in decimal degrees so uh that's it uh for this tutorial that's how you can convert uh, uh, coordinates in utm uh, to decimal degrees using uh, arcgis and excel i hope uh, this tutorial uh, will be helpful to you i uh, hope you've learned something today see you in the next tutorial